The next um, talk has actually already been given because we moved him forward to uh, a couple of days ago. So we're on to number th number four, and that's Ahmed Al Shamari from the Iraqi Center for Cancer Research and Medical Genetic Research in Baghdad. So welcome, Ahmed. Thank you. <clears throat> I would like to thank the organizing committee about uh, having me here and to give me the chance to represent my work. <clears throat> so uh, as we are in a historical uh, legendary place, so I worth mentioning that my, uh, my university is established 800, 800 years ago is the, as Al Madras Al Muslim Syria, which is uh, located in Baghdad and is still there. And you are welcome to see it, visit it once. once. <clears throat> this is our cancer center. So, I'm just giving you a background about our uh, work with uh, Newcastle disease virus. It's uh, isolated in 2005 from outbreak in, uh, in south of Baghdad, uh, Najaf city. So, uh, the name comes from that uh, place. Characterized as a velogenic virulent strain, and it's besieged uh, in chicken embryo uh, eggs uh, more than 25 times, and the strain is no longer pathogenic. It is now attenuated and it caused no um, uh, pathogenicity in uh, poultry, in avian. The viral genome is fully sequenced and the work that they're going to make the recombinant strain. Um, so the virus, uh, our virus ca caused um, apoptosis uh, type of killing by inducing gas based uh, nine expression by intrinsic pathway and in vivo association with, exter with, ex with extrinsic pathway uh, by involvement of immune system. Uh, also, the words uh, to, 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 to tell about the possibility of uh, enhancement of Newcastle disease virus uh, activity by combining it with chemotherapeutic agents, and we found it uh, very, um, very uh, good to be, in, to be combined with several types of chemotherapy, chemotherapies, like 5 like uh, against also against uh, hematological tumors uh, with uh, rituximab against CD20 positive uh, hematological tumors tumors, and with doxorubicin against CD20 negative uh, hematological tumors. Also, it worked very well with cyclophosphamide. So to, to talk about what, uh, the current experiment, it was worth uh, telling that because of this virus is uh, work on our um, memory adenocarcinoma uh, model, which is uh, also created by our lab. This mouse memory adenocarcinoma, if you can see that, uh, uh, sensitive to infection by uh, to and Newcastle virus can induce uh, oncolytic activity and on the uh, on the cancer cells. Also, the virus replicate very well in the cells and insert its protein and uh, expressing the HN protein will cause it to uh, HN uh, to be expressed and the RBCs to be heme absorbed on the cancer cells. This also lead to to make um, let's say tumor cells uh, membrane to be uh, there's antigenic modification to the tumor cells surface, uh, leading to more attachment by, uh, by lymphocytes. And we found that this lymphocyte is more uh, to be uh, CD4 and CD8 positive. Also, the virus, uh, by transmission electron microscope, we found it uh, the, the bud very good from the uh, several types of cancer cells. Uh, in vivo experiment, we did several experiments uh, uh, on immunocompetence model uh, with, and uh, using two uh, injections within two days as a single, let's say, uh, shoot uh, theory, supported uh, Dr. C theory, and we tried multiple intratumoral injection for a long period of time. Uh, also, we did two uh, injections uh, within two days for uh, systemically uh, for intraperitoneal uh, and multiple injection intraperitoneally uh, to compare to with control. We found that there is no big difference bet between each groups, when, we, you, when you give the two injections, or when you, you're giving two mul uh, multiple injections for about two months or period. So we, we, we should have, we, we, I should uh, say that, that we are talking here about the uh, tumors or the animals that are resistant to the uh, viral infection. But because some tumors are, there is some animals where there is a complete regression, and there are some tumors are, are let's say, resistant. And these resistant tumors, uh, showing also a growth inhibition, uh, that the tumor size is still inhibited by the virus, even with two single injections, let's say, within the first week. 
So what is the problem? Why we, there is some of the tumors are resisting, resisting the, the virus uh, viral therapy. Uh, several researchers saying that there is extracellular matrix that interfere with the nucleosid virus separate and solid, in solid tissue and diminish its potential local activity. And for, to, to overcome this problem of uh, extracellular matrix, there are several also applications referring to that hyaluronidase days can overcome this problem by sometimes it's uh, maybe increase the transfection efficiency of, for, and delivery uh, of genes inside the tumor tissue of mouse or a degrade connective tissue in the tumors. And also some colleagues use it with adenovirus. So we did this experiment to co-administration of hyaluronidase from two different sources, from bacterial and ovine. The, the ovine hyaluronidase is uh, clinically proven also used in to, to treat several diseases. And we did a preclinical, a preliminary uh, study uh, to optimize the dose used. used. And we used in this experiment 200 uh, international units per uh, animal. And if you can see that there is um, a very nice uh, growth inhibition that is persistent for a long time, which is it is not very long time. The, the experiment was 23 days because the control animals usually dies. And uh, the single dose, uh, it, this, this the result of single dose only. So uh, the Newcastle virus only group, the growth inhibition spiked at nine days. Then it start to, uh, the tumors start to grow, regrow again. But uh, the groups that received the high uh, enzyme co-administration uh, show longer uh, growth inhibition period. When we, uh, we studied the, tu the tumor sections um, to, and uh, checking it by immunofluorescent assay against HIN protein using monoclonal antibodies, we found that the virus is uh, in, in enzyme-treated uh, group separated from the site of infection, while it's hardly to find to be in with vi virus uh, group alone. By, immune, by uh, histopathology study, we found that th as the control group, uh, th there is a, a massive tumor tissue contains some citroma, which is uh, having co connective tissue in it, that may interfere with virus separate. So in the Newcastle virus uh, group only, there, we, uh, the, there is a wide area of necrosis, but still there is a connective tissue, which is co considered of the citroma in, in the tumor, mass that may interfere with virus replication and separate. But with, the, with the, a, a group of, uh, that is treated with the enzyme, we can find that there is a massive area of necrosis and more, uh, better growth inhibition. I am here acknowledging my team uh, the, the, the enzymatic work done by uh, my PhD student, Hassan Yen, and there's uh, my co-author, uh, Dr. Baha, and this is my team within, in my uh, lab. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, questions, please, from Ahmed. Hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to ask, um, you mentioned that the virus no longer virulence. Um, mm -hmm. Do you determine the ICPI for the particular virus that shows that it's not no longer virulence, and what are the mutations that occur on the virus? Yes, we uh, we have collaborators in, in Baghdad Veterinary Medical School, and uh, they did all the uh, let's say uh, in animals and in vitro studies, and they determined there is it is no no, no longer pathogenic. Also, uh, we now have, we have as I mentioned we we did. Uh, full genome sequencing to the to this strain, and uh, the, the work is under publication. We will uh, mention what you can f find it later. What there is uh, uh, some mu single mutations that created or happened in the genome that make it no longer uh, pathogenic. Uh, any particular genes? Yes, in uh, in F protein. Yeah, in F gene. And and the cleavage site between the H and the F has not changed from the valogenic strain to the attenuated strain? You have the same sequence? And I said there is, was uh, some uh, nucleotide uh, changes, but... Uh, Which change amino acid? Yes, it changed some. So the cleavage site is different now? Um, this will be, let's say, published later. Oh, okay. I can't say it now. Yeah. So you showed that uh, enzymatic disruption of the extracellular matrix can help the virus. Do you, did you see any, um, any hints that mechanical disruption of that matrix, maybe where you injected the needle, whether there was any additional infection related to that disruption of the matrix? 
You mean there will be secondary infection like by bacteria? Yeah, no, 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 oh. of, of the virus. So if, if you get better infection with the NDV once you, better viral spread with extracellular matrix, could you mechanically disrupt it as well? So we, uh, in, in this experiment, we give a one single injection in one site. So, uh, okay. so we, we, uh, I try to avoid make, make, uh, make any mechanical disruption. Of, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much, Jacqueline. Thank you. So, so